Hey everyone, welcome to another <clears throat> painting, Paint with Rick. Today I have a painting that I kind of, I quit painting it. It's all dry now, and I, I kind of want to finish it, so... <clears throat> what I'm going to do with the titanium white on a, a fan brush, I'm just going to lay out uh, what I think I want here. I think I want to have a river flowing in from the right here and then maybe have it turn here and kind of turn back this way so I'm just gonna lay things out in white and then start uh, painting on top of the white so so to make this look right, we want this small here. I'm going to start widening it out here and then probably like that. Have this all watered down in here. All right, I like that. I like that. Cool. So what I think I'm going to do, this will be some land here. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, <coughs> yellow ochre and uh, put some land in here real quick. Maybe uh, a, a hint of uh, sap green. And black maybe it's just some sap green here let those colors kind of mix together here very good that'll be that side back here what I want to do I want to I think what I want to do is lighten up underneath the mountain here make like uh, some fog or mist at the bottom of the mountain here so I'm just stamping in uh, titanium white with a uh, bristle brush just like that Very good. Now I'm going to take some uh, of that. I got some uh, Payne's Gray and a little bit of that uh, sap green and black and some white. And let's see if this is going to show up here got to be darker just gonna put in some trees going across the back here it's almost a grayish color now I'm just gonna lightly pull up on those they're gonna be uh, distant trees back there <clears throat> very good so on this ground here what I get, think I'm going to use uh, I'm going to continue using some yellow ochre underneath and as I come forward I'm going to throw in some Venetian red here get some different colors going Venetian red and then uh, put some sap green down here I'm just this just my uh, undercoat 
oops, I grabbed the sap green and black. See how dark that is compared to regular sap green? All right, there, I got some grass here, some dirt back here, running water. Dip into a little bit of blue here. Let's see what happens here. I know it should be gray, but I just want to make it look blue for now. It'll it'll turn gray. This is just uh, I think it's ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue. I haven't done a painting in a while. All my brushes, all my chip brushes dried out. I forgot to clean them on my last session. Let's see how that's looking. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to put in some bushes down here on the edge of this water. This uh, sap green and black. Put some bushes here. Maybe a bush down here in the corner. Very good. I'm going to run. Uh, some evergreen trees now over here. It's pretty nice when the paintings dried underneath the, the, the paint really Pops, you know, because it's not mixing with any color in the sky. It shows up pretty dark. A couple evergreen trees there. a little bit more linseed oil over here what I want to do is have one big evergreen tree <clears throat> going way up into the sky here so I'm gonna load up my brush what I want is a big evergreen tree coming from way up here down to the corner here Just like that. I'm going to really uh, get loose with this brush. Just let it go where it wants to go. Very good. I like that. It's looking good. I think I'm going to leave this open here and just have the one tree there. It kind of looks pretty cool. Put a top there, some tops on these. 
All right, what I'm going to do is wipe my brush off with a paper towel. And I got some Viridian Green uh, mixed with some white. I'm just going to load my brush up with uh, Viridian Green and highlight this tree now. I'm going to try and hit just the top parts of the uh, branches, but... We'll see what happens. I just want the tree to stand out more, more color. Not bad. Not bad at all. I do these here just a little. This is a uh, Viridian Green with, I put some white in it to uh, tone it down a bit. It's pretty dark green. If you don't, if you don't add white to it, it, it'll be as dark as that black. It'll be as dark as the uh, sap green and black. So I had to lighten it up quite a bit. All right, I kind of like that. This tree's in the foreground here. I'm going to highlight some of these bushes now with uh, Let me fix these bushes up a bit. Make them maybe a little bigger here. Just like that. I'm going to pull some of the bottom out. And maybe make this one a little bigger. I'm going to grab over here. I'm going to use yellow ochre. Stamp in the top part of the bushes with yellow ochre. Trying to leave the bottom dark. Over here I got some uh, same brush. I'm just going to grab a little Venetian red. And... Maybe uh, have some darker bushes right about here. And then uh, some Venetian red down here as well. It's like that. I'm going to put a little white on the same brush. Just wipe it off. And... Uh, dip into my linseed oil and put a little white here and there. Just push it right into the Venetian red. Looks pretty good so far. Uh, I didn't think it was going to turn out uh, that well. <laughs> I really like it. I do want to I want to lighten up some of this back here now. So with the fan brush, I'm going to put a little titanium white try and hit underneath those trees back there to lighten up that ground. Trying to get it to mix with the yellow ochre. There we go. That's a little better. Very good. I'm not going to do any knife work, so what I'm going to do is uh, put some bushes 
on the edge of this water if I can. Just like that. Uh, put some titanium white on my fan brush. There's my water. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not trying to be detailed on this one. Just want it to look loose. I kind of like that one. Uh, just painting on the fly. Maybe one of you guys will you'll get some ideas from this one. But put some birds up here. Oh, I got, I got a, I cleaned this brush <laughs> with the turpentine. It's not really, it's not sticking down here. There we go. I kind of like that. Let's see if I can put some twigs in down here. A lot of times, uh, I'll put my twigs in after I shut the camera off, but because I mean, I'm sure you don't want to see me making twigs in my paintings, but just try and make your twigs look uh, actually go out in nature and kind of see how they go because if you just make them like straight up they're not going to look that good you want them to uh you know go in all different directions you know all right i kind of like that one i got some new things coming up i'm just throwing this up here because uh I haven't painted in a while, so. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.